Hi, this is TJ Singh, your sick product specialist at ENM in Southern California. In this video, I want to talk about color and contrast sensors and how they play a very significant role in various automation tasks. Anything from registration mark detection for label cutting processes, for positioning of objects in printing machines, even for selecting the right orientation for your tubes or quality inspection and much more. The new SIG KTS KTX Prime is here to solve all these applications and also provide a whole lot of benefits while doing so. Let me show you what this device can do. With the new KTS KTX, you can do both color and contrast detection with the same sensor and also repurpose your sensor for different labels. The Twin Eye technology gives you reliable detection even with high gloss and flickering materials and you get ranges of up to 200 millimeters. The multifunctional seven segment display makes configuration easy and the mounting feedback makes setup a piece of cake. It's a perfect fit for your high speed applications since you get 70 kilohertz switching frequency and 3 millisecond jitter. It is also IOLink capable, which means you can tune up the sensor and get diagnostics at the same time. Let me now show you a quick demo of the sensor and the software to show you how easy it is to set it up. Once you connect the sensor with your laptop, open up SOPAS ET, which is the software that you get from SIG. And this is the configuration window. Here, the very first advantage of using IOLink is that you can get live feedback. For that, start the mounting feedback, put your target underneath the sensor, and here you will see like a 77% uh, 77 feedback that I'm getting. So it's a good position, my mounting is good. Press OK. After that, what you want to do is go on the right side and on this, you have three tabs, identification, settings, and teaching. On teaching, you can do multiple things since this sensor can do both color and contrast. So we can teach it both. Let's start with color. For that, we call it one point teaching. Once you click on that, it will ask you to put the color that you're trying to detect underneath it. And let's say I'm doing yellow or somewhat close to yellow, which you can see here um, and press OK. And what it does is it's successful and these windows for red, green and blue. It's like a threshold window that's set up. So as long as the color that the sensor sees is between these windows, it's going to trigger an output, which on the left side is represented by Q1 and that orange light turns on. And if I move my sensor now to a different color, and I'm on blue right now, it's like a dark blue, and I go to, let's say, red here, and you would notice that the Q1 is not active unless I go back to yellow. And that's what the colors uh, teaching mode does. Another thing that this can do is a two-point teaching, and that's more like a contrast. For that, what you want to do is put the background in front of the sensor. Once you do that, you press on OK. Then you put the target of detection and then press OK again. And what it does is simply it creates a threshold line, which is this red line here on the top. And if I move it again to my white zone, and you will notice that this line goes on the top and my output is triggered, which is again on the left side represented by Q1, the orange light turns on. And if I go back to black, it again is lower than this threshold that we set and the output turns off on the left side. And if I go up again and down. And that's how simple it is to use this sensor with this software. Another good advantage is that you can go to settings and if you want to adjust the sensitivity, you can do that as well. And you also have one pin configuration which you can uh, do as per your requirements since it is multifunctional. So yeah, you can do, do it external teaching, you can do it as uh, changing the sensitivity, or you can even do different light or dark switching. 
and that's pretty much it for the demo thank you for watching the video if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at the email provided on the screen thank you